right, so this is going to be the installation part of the series. I'm doing about the SSD drives, SSHD actually. Um, should be pretty much the same to you guys. So, uh, the installation shouldn't be much different at all. Um, so first things first, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. So you have about nine screws all the way around, um, size zero Phillips screwdrivers. So let me go ahead, pop out my kit. This would be my kit here. I really like this camera angle. Let me do number zero, double zero. Yeah, this, this goes zero. The, the screws you can see, I have three longer ones. So once again, I there's always something different. There's always a little trick on doing these things. Um, seems to be the trick on doing this right now because I am 100% positive I have everything. Don't want to tug at it because you know. So let me try lifting, pulling out. No, it's pretty. It's got, it seems like it has a hinge or something. No, you just gotta pop it. So if you get stuck, all you need to do is uh. Let's pop it out. Uh, yep, that's about all you need to do. So this is the internal of my laptop. Um, damn, it's it's impressive. It's a quality shows, no joke. But um, this would be this right here is going to be our focus. So once again, we'll take the same Phillips screwdriver. And you know what? I believe I have already lost the screw. Don't know what happened to the one right here. Hopefully it's on the floor under me. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. So I need, there's a, there's a small little board right here. There's a small little, um, kind of like a hinge sort of thing I want to say it's a strip a black strip um, strip not stripper that it's a black strip uh, made to hold down tighten secure your hard drive um, you will not remove the screws all the way from this strip uh, you'll just loosen the strip have it uh, able to, to come out you're not gonna go ahead and, and remove them all the way because Honestly, I don't know how you would be able to remove them all the way, but yeah, don't do it. Don't, if once it gets kind of iffy, don't don't keep tugging at nothing. So uh, don't pull it out all the way right away. You have the SATA cable plugged in, so you gotta you know pull it out. Don't don't be rough with it. So there you go. Got your SATA cable out, you see how it how it has one way it fits no matter what. So this would be my old hard drive. It seems pretty similar. Let me go ahead and get my SSD drive. I actually still have it plugged in to the adapter so I can make a USB. Um, they look pretty dang similar, don't they? Actually, yeah, pretty much the same. Here's the top side of them. Yeah, they're really close. There's this, oh look, they're actually both Seagate also, see? I knew Seagate was one to trust. Same right here, 320 gigs, 1,000 gigs. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put 320 gigs aside. Now, actually I'm supposed to, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put my uh, my terabyte aside, my SSHD. There is uh, four screws on the side, each in each edge of this. And I literally just dropped my screw into my computer. I had to shake it up. And guys, don't do what I just did. I forgot to take out my battery. It's really important that you take out your battery. This has a smaller screw. 
and it doesn't seem like it's a T6. It's it's a star, like a full-on star. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna take out the battery from a star. Let me see if my thing came with a star. I don't have a star. Oh uh oh. All right, so that's bad. That can't remove my battery. It's very bad. So allegedly, but I have no choice but to continue. So I will. And I learned my lesson about doing it on top of my computer, so I'm gonna do it on the side. Also, what you want to do is you want to remove this little thing, flap that allows you to grab it. Um, once again, let me put my hybrid drive to the side so that I can use my whatever and put that aside so I can use this one now it's time to plug in once again I don't feel safe about this since I have my battery uncovered and I do not recommend that you do so because I have not been able to detach my battery um, and don't recommend doing what I'm doing not one dang bit. So I got that in there. When I wasn't supposed to, I actually have to put the screws on first. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the screws that were on your other hard drive onto your new hard drive. <laughs> So I got the sticker on there. I got the four screws on there. Now is the part you plug it in. There's only one way it goes in. If you you should have noticed by now is specific way where this stuff ha the way there's a specific way this stuff needs to be and fits nicely between two little sockets that are available there. That once again it needs to fall dead on. Um, and Apple has really had this stuff nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these two screws, get it back on. This is that little black flap, nothing extra that I haven't shown you guys. The only thing I'm adding to this computer is this solid state, solid, solid state hybrid drive. And I'm thinking, debating on getting rid of my optical drive. You know, nobody really uses that stuff anymore. Uh, it's just a debate. I was super looking into uh, seeing if it had, um, seeing if I had the ability to set. I was really looking into see if I had the ability to set a Blu-ray player because I, I mind at least uh, so far that I know, I've checked. Uh, no MacBook comes with a Blu-ray player installed, which is. Very silly to me, even though you can download a program that gives you a Blu-ray player. Um, it's called Mac Blu-ray player. Um, so yeah, I was debating on it. So now I'm gonna just go ahead, put this stuff back on. Alrighty, that's the end of this video. Now, um, Go ahead, check out my next video for the comparison, the speed comparison test.